Hey, my friend, I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. Let's unbox one hydraulic loader from GIZ model. It is a 580 hydraulic loader. Let's see it. Okay, so already radio power on. Here the rear side cover, it is a plastic one and they're secured by magnet. So, see, rear side has this magnet here. And uh, that's the rear light connections, wires. Here we put the battery at here, 3S and the XT60. So here I already, so power it off, disconnect, you will see this plate here have four screw, one, two, three, four, take out, I already removed. You can take out this plate from the rear side, remove it, you will see here that's all the pump, motor, ESC, uh, uh, receiver, and downside the, let's see, ESC should be under there. Well, this one, that's the oil tank. So here, open and fill up oil. This one may be around uh, 60, minimum liter after fill up and you run in the system for the bucket arm running oil go to the cylinder then fill up maybe 20 minimum liter again here's the pump the brushless motor and the pressure gauge here's this screw that's the pressure release valve so screw in pressure will be a little more better not to touch because already set up from factory the pressure it is okay for this system Three servo and distribution valve under there at uh, a little bit front here. And uh, so the power switch with uh, here, let you see have the voltage. Connect the battery, power it on. Wait, yeah, signal already connected. D already connected, now can start the pump. Check out the pressure. So now without the load, not moving, it's only around one MPA. So move it. It's uh, almost a 4 MPA, so pressure enough, start running it, wires. It's long wire, so you can put the cover away. Yeah, so secure it back. Okay, secured. So start first at the front, the light. Off, another one. Flashing light. Flash mode, flash mode number two. Okay, keep it on and check the rear side light. So for the sound, power, start the engine. After start the engine can drive because it is a RC16 soundboard connected together with the throttle. So backward. That's a reverse light. Second time we'll start driving backward. Turning left. Left signal. Right. Right signal. Okay, have black light too. The red light turning more red. Okay, steering. So backward. Slowly. So forward. So front also have this tiny signal light. Left, right. Okay, moving the arm, big arm up, top position, tilt in the bucket. Put down a little bit to see, yeah, can rise the weight. Tilt in, pull down, then tilt in the bucket, 
Well, can rise the weight. Good. How is enough? Let's try slow motion. Slowly go up. We are still good. Slow down. Also buckets. Tumble slowly. Means the valve is good. Time to find a control. Okay, this one got a Differential but no differential lock. Have two speed. So let's drive it. Now at low speed. Forward. Full speed. Backward. Full speed. Changing to high speed. Forward. Backward. Okay, changing back to low. No have differential lock, so the gearbox from downside you will be able to see. Here the transfer case, top that's the gearbox. Servo it is here shifting on the top. Here that's the drive motor. Okay, so downside that's the two cylinder for steering. That's the drive shaft leading to forward, leading to backward. Okay, that's the chassis. Cabin can be open. So the speaker should be under the cabin and the soundboard, it is under here. That's the RC16 soundboard under here. So the engine sound and the volume can be changed, switched Later, we'll show you in another video. With battery, 16.4 kg. Okay, so let's see the power of the hydraulic. So when you move it, the pressure we see almost nearly 4 MPa. So that's this weight block. Each one it is 2.5 kg. Yeah, 2.5 kg and 3, 7.5 kg. Let's start the pump. First level, that's 21%. This level, it is around 35%. This level, it is around 70%. So let's try first level, around 21%. Well, can rise, but a little bit slow. 21%, not enough. Rise to 35%. Well, can go up directly. Slowly pull down. Okay, and uh, put flat and tilting back. Well, the power is enough for 7.5 kg at 35% uh, load. Let's increase to 70%. Well, very easy. So if you put more, maybe the rear side will come up. Let's try. So. Again, with this one, 2.5, 7.5, it's 10 kg. Let's see. At 70% of the pump load. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> so it's too heavy because rear side is not heavy enough. So we can only try with 7.5 kg or around 8 kg. 10, 10 kg, this already cannot balance. But for the power, it's easily to rise and tilt in the bucket. Slowly tilt back. Rise quickly. Okay, slowly pull down. Well, the power is quite enough at 35%. 70% is very strong. So, this is the JZ580 hydraulic loader. So we will see each other again with more models. See you.